Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., Julie interviews experts on all areas of clutter, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Learn easy-to-implement tips on how to release clutter and get organized to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. An award-winning professional organizer and coach, Julie also shares suggestions to help you live clutter-free for a more joyful and fulfilling life. Frustrated by clutter and ready to let it go? Need some easy-to-implement steps? Taken that first step but need a little more guidance? Our affordable PDF workbooks, 10 10-minute 10 Decluttering and Eco-Organizing 101 support you in letting go of clutter and getting organized. Check back, as we are always adding items that clients and consumers request. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. In this month's bonus, I'm going to discuss a couple of ways and exercises to help you release clutter. I had a friend move to Hawaii last year, and she got everything she owned into two suitcases and two carry-ons. I can't even imagine that. She really had to pare down to what she needed. For a lot of us, that can be a huge challenge. So here are some exercises to support you in releasing clutter. What if you were moving? If you move interstate, it's done by weight and distance. When I moved from Los Angeles to Raleigh, I got rid of just about all my furniture. I didn't have any kitchen table, I didn't have any couch, TV, I got rid of all of that. And I had a bedroom set, and some twin beds that I inherited. But again, it really wasn't a lot of stuff. I was living in a two bedroom condo. Almost 10 years ago, it cost me over $3,000. We'll be moving within a year or so, and we're going through stuff now, because I know it's whatever we take, we're gonna pay to move it. So if you know you have to pay by weight, what would you move and what would you release? I encourage you to take the time to actually go room by room and write things down. After you've done this exercise, ask yourself what is preventing you from doing so now? If you would release it when you were moving, what's holding you back from releasing it right now? Here's another thing to think about. It's not pleasant, but what if there was a fire? What would you save? I can't even imagine what it would be like to have my home catch on fire. It would be devastating. So a nice reminder to make sure you have fire detectors and your batteries are up to date. When we change over for daylight savings time and in winter for uh, savings time, that's a great time to change your batteries. Some of the things I know I would grab if we had a fire include, of course, the most important thing, our cat Joey, although he'd probably be out the door before we are. Our wedding album, my great grandmother's bracelet, a painting my grandparents owned, and our important documents. Now here's a tip, I'm gonna encourage you to have your important documents in one place. In our filing cabinets, everything that I need, such as our wedding license and certificate, my name change, all of that is in one accordion file. Bam, I've got it. All the important papers are in my hands and out the door. Realistically, you'd only have a minute or two, but for this exercise, think about what you could grab in 10 minutes. That's going to tell you what's important to you. And then after that, ask why you're keeping things that aren't important to you. Do you really need all that you're keeping? If a fire is too difficult, skip ahead. Suppose you lose everything you own in a disaster, a fire or something else. You're only going to get so much from the insurance company, but despite their clever commercials, and it's doubtful that you could replace everything. If so, what would you replace? That can help guide you to releasing clutter today. Another thing to think about, or an exercise to try. I often work with people who have been left things by relatives and the burden to decluttering the house, selling the house, handing financial affairs, etc., always falls to someone. Would you want to leave all that clutter for someone else to deal with? What would you want to leave to them that has meaning to you? Then after you figure that out, consider releasing all the rest. Now again, releasing clutter is a process, so be gentle with yourself. The most important thing is to take that first step. 
I have another podcast where I talked about questions that you can ask yourself to release things and you can check that out. But this again, just different take on it, different spin. We all learn differently. You can say something a hundred times, but maybe the hundred and first time you hear it from someone else, that really resonates with you. It's your aha moment. And you can say, oh, uh, now I get it. So hopefully you can try one of these exercises to help you in releasing clutter. Go out, clear some clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Frustrated by clutter and ready to let it go? Need some easy to implement steps? Taken that first step but need a little more guidance? Our affordable PDF workbooks 10 10 minute decluttering and eco organizing 101 support you in letting go of clutter and getting organized. Check back as we are always adding items that clients and consumers request. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Thanks for tuning in to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of. 10 clutter-free living tips. Ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Learn about Julie's coaching, ebooks, online monthly decluttering classes, how to organize your life, office hours, and her unique clutter-free living mastermind at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. You can also watch all episodes on YouTube or download on iTunes and more. Join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.